math isn't difficult math is fun i am nilakanta babu prakash and i am the fastest human calculator in the world and we are exploring infinities exploring infinities is here in front of you to give you a mathematics learning experience like never before with expert trainers from around the country we are here to make you learn math the right way hi everyone my name is vaishnavi and i'm here on behalf of exploring infinities for project math during lockdown and today we are here to learn math in a very simple and an easy manner so that all of you can remember this forever okay so let's start with the chapter the name of our chapter is polynomials so it seems like a very complicated name at start but no need to worry about it it's a very simple chapter and i'll explain it to you in a way that you'll easily understand so now in a simple way if you want to see what polynomials are you would say you would divide them in two parts poly and nomials so poly what does poly mean poly means many and nomials means terms so simply put polynomials is an expression consisting of many terms that is all that is what we'll be studying in this chapter in detail about many terms that are there in an expression okay and how to calculate like how to categorize them and all so in a mathematical way if you want to write this you would say that a polynomial is a algebraic expression of constants and variables so what is polynomials polynomials is an algebraic expression of constants and variables so now what are constants constants are expressions or numbers that can be defined something in an equation if you can define it you would call it a constant so de- define what does define mean define means that it has a predetermined value so a number for example in a number it can be a real number or a rational number or anything of that sort so you can say 1 2 1 2 root 2 all of these are constants in an equation now what are variables variables are values which are not predetermined that is you have to calculate those values or those values are changing ever changing so the way you write these like the way you depict them in general is x y k z alpha beta or you use any other letter for that matter to determine variables so um one condition about variables that you need to remember is variables need to have a non negative power what do they need to have they need to have a non negative power now what does that mean that means that in our expression if a variable has a non negative power if all the variables of that expression have a non negative power that is when you say that that is a polynomial so let me take an example so in an expression you have x square in another you have x cube and in other another you have x power minus 2 so here we look at each and every power of x we know that the power of x over here is 2 and over here is 3 and over here is minus 2 we can clearly see that here these are pos- these are non negative powers so an expression containing x square or x cube will be a polynomial but an expression containing x power minus 2 where minus 2 is a negative power you would say that the expression is not a polynomial okay that is the easiest way to put it so now uh, let me just show you an example of how a polynomial is constructed so let's take a rectangle so this is a rectangle a question can be that the length of a rectangle is one more than twice its breadth so what are they saying length is one more than twice its breadth so here length is what we are supposed to find right so 
they are telling us that length is one more than twice its breadth and they'll probably give us the breadth and te they'll tell us to find the length. So, here length can be determined as P of X is equal to 1 plus 2 into X where the breadth is X. So, we gave a variable for the breadth calling it X and we said that length can be written as 1 more than 2 times its breadth that is 1 plus 2X. So, here what does P of X mean? So, P is just like a name if you want to say it. So, you can instead of P you can say F or G or Q or anything for that matter or R or anything. So, it can be F of X or G of X or Q of X or R of X. What does X mean? X is the variable which is there in our expression. So, if our expression has two variables, so that is not that is not something that you need to learn now. But if our expression has two variables, that is 1 plus x plus y, then you can write it as p of x comma y. So, it means that this expression has two variables, x comma y. It is defined by two variables. So, if these two variables change, this value will also change. And p is the name. So, I am basically giving a name to this expression and saying that it, it changes with x. So, this, so our p of x here is our expression to calculate length. So, this is how you write a polynomial. So, p of x is equal to 1 plus 2x is our polynomial. Okay. So, now let us take a few examples to see if we understand how polynomials are and whether an expression is a polynomial or not. So, I'll be writing a few equations. So, let me say 1 by y minus 1. And here now, what is y? y is the, exp is the variable. So, you write it as p of y because it's defined by y. And this is x square plus 2x plus 1. So this can be f of x. Or three, root 3x three square plus 2. This can be g of x. Or you can write y power minus 2 plus 2. So here the variable is y. So we can write it as r of y. Okay. So now we have to see whether this is a polynomial or not. So now y one by y minus one, we know that there's a pol there's a expression there, there's a rule in exponents where a power minus one by a power minus m can be written as a power m, right? So one by y minus one can be written as y minus one whole power one. Now what does the expression have? Expression has a negative power for the variable, so it is no. That is not a polynomial. So, you don't even need to write it as p of y because it is not a polynomial. So, this as we can see there are two terms of x and all of them are positive, right? So, this is power 1. So, it is a polynomial, right? Here the power of x is 2. So, clearly it is a polynomial. Here the power of y is minus 2 and as we discussed already, if the power is a negative power, then it is not a polynomial, right? I hope you guys understand this. Now let's move on to the next topic. That is the degree of a polynomial. So what is the name of the topic? Degree of a polynomial. Okay. So, what is the degree of a polynomial? So, simply put, the degree of a polynomial is the highest power of the variable. What would you say? Highest power of the variable. Right? So, it's very easy actually because uh, when you're looking at an expression and determining whether it is 
a polynomial or not we look at each and every single variable and we look at its power and see if it's positive or not here we look at the number also and whichever is the highest number there we just call it the degree so let us see that with an example so x square plus 2x plus 1 right so here x is to the power 2 so that is the highest power of x because the other power here is 1 so here the degree will be 2 or root 3 x square plus 2 here also the degree will be 2 because there's only one term of x and the power of that term is 2 right so now in to put it in a mathematical way you can say that if p of x is equal to a naught x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 plus and so on a n minus 1 x plus a n where a naught is not equal to 0 and a naught a1 a2 so on a n are real numbers then degree is equal to n so what is the meaning of this so don't be scared looking at the expression it's actually a very simple expression once you understand it so i'll tell you so let's see if the power is 2 okay so x bar n will be 2 so a naught x bar 2 plus a1 x bar 2 minus 1 so x here we've reached this term plus a2 right if x is 3 we can write it as a naught x bar 3 plus a1 x square plus a2 x plus a3 so simply put these letters keep increasing that so a naught a1 and all are basically constants for us or you can also call it coefficients so an essential thing that you need to learn is the number attached to the variable like here 2x or here there's one here root 3 so this is not a variable so these are all called as coefficients of x coefficients of the variable so here these are all coefficients it can be 2 1 root 3 root 5 root 10 or anything so if these are expressions and if x is 1 then you say a naught x plus a 1 so for these expressions and and so on where you can write it as a naught x power n and you can keep making the expression go till you reach a n right so they are saying that over here if a naught is not equal to 0 so what will happen if a naught is equal to 0 if a naught is equal to 0 then you move on to the above expression right because this becomes 0 and only this part will be left in your expression like only this part will be left in your e expression then what will happen it ju will just become a square so the degree will just become 2 then the degree is n so here the degree is 1 here the degree is 2 here the degree is 3 and here the degree is n right so that is how you calculate the degree so that's just like more like a formula for calculating degree there's another way to determine these three particular equations actually and they, like they are called as they have three names for them so this is a linear equation this is a quad oh linear polynomial okay this is a quadratic polynomial and this is a cubic polynomial so these are just names that are given to a polynomial with degree 1 a polynomial with degree 2 and polynomial with degree 3 you learn more about quadratic equations so basically if you just put a is equal to 0 here then the polynomial becomes an equation because you are equating it with something equating the polynomial with something so you'll learn a lot about quadratic equations in the coming chapters but right now all you have to remember is, is that if the degree is 2 it's called a quadratic polynomial if the degree is 3 it's called a cubic polynomial and if, if the degree is 1 it's called a linear polynomial okay so let's take a few examples and try to calculate the degrees of those polynomials. So um, 
x bar 10 plus 6 x bar 4 plus 3 x square plus 4 6 x bar 10 plus 2 x plus 5 x cube plus 5 x bar 4 plus 3 so I'll just give them names I'll call it p1 x I'll call it p2 x I'll call it p3 x P1, P2, P3 is just me giving them names. It's nothing specific. There is no reason for the 1, 2 or 3. It's just to differentiate between the three equations and so that so as to tell you guys that the three equations are not the same basically. So here, the highest power of x as you can clearly see is 10. So the degree will be 10. One way for us to go about how to calculate degree is to write the highest power to the lowest power in a in a descending order so that it's easy for us to see. So this becomes 6x power 7 plus x square plus 2x plus 5, right? So here we know the highest power. So degree will be 7. And here if you write it, it will be 5x power 4 plus x cube plus 3. So here we can see the highest power 4. So here our degree will be 4. So this is how you calculate degrees of a polynomial. And so we come to an end to today's lecture. Thanks a lot for watching this and stay tuned for the upcoming ones. Don't forget to follow at the rate fastest human calculator and at the rate exp.infi on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel.